guys, welcome to our video. We're really happy to see you all again on a beautiful Sunday. Happy Galentine's Day because that's what we're doing today on our video. We're celebrating our lovely little Galentine's Day. Uh, we have a bunch of movie recommendations for you guys to celebrate your Galentine's Day and have a movie night and watch the watch the movies and enjoy. So, uh, Shavini, would you want to start off with the first movie suggestion? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, before I do that, I'll just like to wish everyone happy Valentine's Day from my end. And I hope you have been having like a good day and a good weekend. And I hope you're ready for uh, another work week since it's going to be Monday tomorrow. So, um, okay, so I mentioned the first movie that um, I actually like from, once, from the ones I've watched, like all of them. Uh, the first movie I'd like to um, talk about or like, you know, suggest to you guys is um, Hitch. It's a English movie. The concept is basically uh, about like love in a way. Um, so there's a matchmaker who helps this guy who's trying to win the heart of this uh, rich businessman's daughter. And uh, he... He likes her generally because of the person she is, not because of like her looks and her money. So at the beginning, the matchmaker is like not really willing to do it because he's like saying it's from it's gonna be impossible that you will land such a girl. But then in the end, he helps um the guy who's trying to land the girl, and then like things work out, and it's just a lot of comedy, and it's also um sweet and like sappy and it's it's just a good movie to watch so that's one i would suggest right. um, i like that movie you? as well it's a very lovely feel good movie so that's a lovely suggestion for a valentine's day night uh the movie that i have in mind is called remember me uh, i just really love this movie and i love the emotion in this movie and i i really like i, I it's it's got a good it's a it's a good pace for a romantic movie, I'd say. So it's like a well-paced romantic movie. The story follows a uh, protagonist, which is Robert Patterson. I forgot the character's name as well. So um, he is the son of this very successful father, but he doesn't want to take his footsteps. He wants to, he's, so he's figuring out his life. And in the meantime, he comes across this girl who he really likes from his university as he was studying. And then the story follows their, you know, journey in life. It's really lovely. It's re it really moves you a lot. I cry a lot watching this movie. It's very touching. And yeah, it may or may not have a happy ending. I do not want to give you spoilers. So that is Remember Me. And it's a very lovely movie. So it's something that everyone can watch on a Valentine's Day night. Uh, after that, the second movie that I want to suggest is Baby Driver. Baby Driver is like it's a very fast paced movie. Like if you love car chases, it's your it's the it's the thing that you gotta watch. And it also has a lovely romantic angle to it, and it has like specks of vintage vibe, I'd say, because of certain aesthetics of the movie here and there. And that is really lovely. Like they do have you, you know those um I think what do you call them? Those kind of tapes that used to be there. Uh, that people used to listen to music with on a Walkman. So they used, so there are like uh, elements like that in that movie, which is really nice. And it follows the story of this boy who's caught up with this underworld stuff, but he's a very young kid and he doesn't want to be in that. And he's trying to get out of it by doing his very last heist. And that's the story. Uh, that's the plot of the movie. And it's really lovely. Uh... I think, Shivini, you would agree upon this, that another good movie to watch would be um, The Devil as Prada and Eat, Pray, okay. Love. These are really famous movies, but it would make for a very good Galentine's Day night movie because Devil as Prada is like very, you know, it's got a really good cast, obviously. Meryl Streep is my favorite actress. 
and it has like elements of you know woman empowerment and everything after i watch that movie i usually feel energized i'm like yes i want to go and you know be all ambitious and conquer the world and so that is nice for a nice girls night movie and eat pray love is just it's a dream i want to i want to take a vacation and go on like a eat pray love vacation and i want to find my soulmate in like other world, like in the, in the vacation spots you know so that is a lovely girls night movie as well so those are my other suggestions and other than that shivini what would you like to add as a movie that you really like for girls night out um i think uh, the intern is a good movie i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys must have heard of it it's basically about a movie of a really of an old guy who's retired but um he still wants to do something with his life he's not just like okay we just like staying at home and doing nothing so he takes up an internship with this woman who is an entrepreneur and she successfully like established a business i think within a year and it just you know shows the relationship between the intern and the boss and how um at the end she didn't take him that seriously because of his age and everything and like she was into the fashion business as far as i remember so then like fashion back in his days were different and all that so but in the end she valued him and they just like it's just a great movie to show the bond and also about like how hard work can get you anywhere especially for women these days um another movie is um like one of the most popular bollywood movies like indian movies at the moment and probably of all time i guess uh it's this new movie um that has shahrukh khan it's called patan uh it's basically this typical like action movies where like this the um, terrorist like the bad guys and stuff um the evil people and then the good people and there's like um the bad guys are you know like trying to do something to destroy the country um and then uh, shahrukh khan's character who's all who is a good guy he ends up saving um the people of his country like people in india and everything just ends on a good note the movie is like really interesting um and it's a, it has a lot of good action and a lot of you know indian movies don't have like great you know the action is not the best um another movie fast and furious but i like this one out of all of them I mean, latest ones I don't really even watch because Paul Oak is not there anymore. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't. But the fifth one, yeah, the fifth one I really like. I don't know. I just, I just like it the most because it's kind of different and there's like Dwayne Johnson that uh introduced into the thing, and then Paul Walker and um the actress that plays his wife. They're like on a good terms on their relationship now, and it's just the best installment because. I also like the action in that movie, like the car chasing and everything they do. That specific installment. So yeah, these are basically the movies that I would suggest. Yeah, so these are some lovely yeah. movies as well. Uh, when you were talking about the intern, I thought of another lovely movie, which is also something that focuses on how a woman. Uh, struggles in her workplace. So this is called Hidden Figures. and it's like a really mm-hmm. lovely movie that's set in a vintage era uh it has a, it, it's a time it's a period movie and i really love yeah. how they've the they worked into the fabric of the movie the vintageness it's it's really really good very subtle very realistic and really nice and at the same time the plot is really good it it's set in a time period where women were really oppressed and there was also a lot of oppression towards people of color and there were like segregation of places and habitat and things like that uh during that time it follows the story of protagonist the, the protagonist who is a woman of color who's trying to who's extremely talented and who's trying to um work her way through career life and achieve and reach her potential basically and it's played by Taraji P Henson and the cast and crew is lovely and it's uh it's it's not it doesn't have any romantic angle to it but it's something that would really really stick with you and it's like a 
perfect girls night movie because it's again about women empowerment and everything and these are the kind of movies that kind of get me feeling energized so yeah so those are our suggestions for uh having a lovely Valentine's Day night celebration tune in tomorrow uh, uh to watch our video about part 2 um, hmm? yeah i was just going to add saying like tune in to watch tomorrow part 2 of this video will be part 2 of this be video about the quizzes a yeah, bus yeah. feed quizzes and um we'll be like doing it together like the two of us will be choosing the answers the ones we like agree on and so then it's gonna be different finish. it's not gonna be the typical personality test where we try to find out what our personality is we're gonna try to find out what our youtube channel's personality is and what our personality as a team is gonna be so it's gonna be kind of fun so join us and you are all also welcome to play along and do the quizzes along with us we leave those in the description below in our part two in our description below you will find links to all the trailers to the movies that we spoke about and you'll also find this in the description our instagram handle please go follow us on instagram subscribe to our channel and please hit the bell, bell icon so that you get notified about our posts we post twice every week and we'd love it if you can follow our channel as well so please do subscribe and thank you for being with us thus far in our journey thank our you. channel is still growing and it's still tiny but we're very happy about each and every views and each and every subscriber who have subscribed to us and who are supporting us so thank you so much and hope you're all doing well hope you're all having a lovely day and i wish you guys uh the best for the rest of the week ahead and see you tomorrow but in the meantime, do take care, stay hydrated, stay kind, and stay kind to one another and to oneself.